Hello friends and happy summer. I hope that you're all having a wonderful start to the season, the best season. I know I am. I'm out at one of my very favorite places in the entire world, Lake Isabel in Colorado. Here's a quick look around, though I do have a video specifically for this hike, which I'll link above. It's definitely my favorite place in Colorado. I definitely recommend you hike up here if you're ever out in the area. But it occurred to me that although we're halfway through the year already, I haven't yet told you guys my summer and fall hiking plans. So I just wanted to give you a little update on what I have planned for the year in terms of my backpacking trips. I've got some stuff coming up that I'm really, really excited about. So here we go. So first of all, I will be hiking the West Coast Trail on Vancouver Island in Canada this summer. It's about a 50 mile trail that involves mountains and beaches and forests. So it should be super exciting. Apparently there are also a lot of grizzly bears on the island. So I guess I'll be carrying bear spray. I don't have a lot of experience in grizzly country. I do have a little bit, but not very much. So that'll be really interesting. I'll be going with my friend Pika and she's already requested that we share a tent. <laughs> So that'll be fun. Apparently also within these like 50 miles, there are about a hundred ladders that you have to climb. So to me, it sounds like a great adventure. I first learned about the trail when I was out hiking the four pass loop a couple weeks ago. I got to talking with this guy who's been going out with a group of his friends for decades. Every single year they go on a backpacking trip. I asked him what his favorites were and that was at the top of his list. So I've been meaning to get out there and finally I'm going out this summer. It does require a permit so it's not one that you can really jump into last minute but luckily I was able to score a permit for it and yeah Pika and I will be out adventuring on the west coast trail. Super excited so stay tuned for that one. After that, we'll be hiking the Teton Crest Trail in Grand Teton National Park. So that one's between 40 and 45 miles, depending on where you start. I think we'll be doing the 40 mile route. And you also need a permit for this one. I did not score the best permits for it. I wanted to stay out there for three nights. I was only able to get two. And I think that's gonna involve at least one really big mile day. I'm kind of hoping once I get to the park, I can score some different campsites, but time will tell. I, uh, I, I, might be, I might be pretty tired after that one, we'll see. But it's supposed to be spectacularly beautiful. I'm really pumped for that one. That's also in grizzly country. So I'll get some practice this summer and see how I feel. I've been toying around with the Continental Divide Trail for a while and one of my hesitations is that it does go through grizzly country. So this will be a good not introduction because I have been out there before, but it, it'll be some good practice for me to see how I do and uh, see how freaked out I get by the possibility of grizzly bears. <laughs> but either way, it looks super beautiful, really excited. Pika's coming on that one and my friend Dory will be coming back out for that as well. And then finally, if you didn't know, I had a big birthday this year. <laughs> and so as I really wanted to plan something really special for this year to celebrate that milestone. And I've been toying around with ideas for the last year or two and really pondering over what I would like to do. I almost decided not to do anything big this year because I just bought a new to me car. It's not new, it's a 2021 Subaru Crosstrek. And it's new to me and it cost me a lot of money, but I am gonna feel a lot safer driving in snow, driving up to the mountains than I have been in my little Ford Focus hatchback for my last five and a half years in Colorado. But anyway, because I just spent a bunch of money on this new vehicle, I wasn't sure if I should still spend the money to go out and do something big, but I was like, you know what? You can't take your money to the grave and you gotta celebrate yourself and celebrate the things you accomplish and the milestones that you get to. So ultimately, ultimately, I decided to book a trip to Nepal. I'm gonna be going out there in the fall to hike the Manaslu Circuit, which is a 110 mile trek. And I don't know too, too much about it yet. I don't, but what I do know is that it's in a more remote area of Nepal than say some of the more popular treks like the Annapurna Circuit. I was initially looking into the Annapurna circuit, but it, it just looks pretty crowded and it seems like 
a whole lot of people that go to Nepal go out to do the, the Annapurna circuit. I wanted to do something a little quieter. And I also wanted to do a trek where I could stay at tea houses along the way instead of bringing a tent. So each night I'll be staying in these tea houses where they have beds and where they serve you meals and you can get some masala chai. Sorry, I just saw a reflection of my phone of something moving. And you always have to be aware of your surroundings in the back country. But anyway, you could get showers and do laundry, and I'm pretty darn excited about that. I'm going to have to do some training up in the mountains this summer because the high point of this circuit is going to be over 16,000 feet. I've never been up that high. That's going to be rough. I even have trouble with 14ers here in Colorado sometimes. I also know that there is a chance that I could potentially see a snow leopard on the trek, which is really freaking exciting. So those are a few things I know about the trek right now. It sounds really awesome. It's one that not as many people go out and do. And interestingly, you need at least two people to go out and do it. And for any treks in Nepal now, you need to hire a guide. So I'm actually going through a guiding service. You guys know that I usually plan all my own trips, but I figured since I need to have a guide anyway. I honestly just don't want to do a ton of legwork to plan this trip. I was feeling a little overwhelmed by it, but I still wanted to go out and do it. So ultimately I decided to just book the more expensive option, which was to go through a guiding service. And I'll report back on what I think of that since it's not something that I usually do. So yeah, I'm really freaking pumped about this Nepal trip. I hope that you guys will follow along for all of these awesome fun things this summer. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever done any of these trails or what exciting things you have planned for this year. As always, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for more hiking, backpacking, outdoor, and travel content. Thanks for being here. Happy summer. See you soon.